chapter 9 human environment interactions in that we are doing the case study now on the life in the temperate grasslands what are grasslands the grasslands are the lands where only the grass is grown it's like a tree where there are no trees only grass trees are grown so the only grass which is grown on the land are known as grasslands the entire field only grass is grown these grasslands can be broadly divided into temperate grasslands and tropical grasslands first we shall do the case study on the temperate grasslands then we shall do on the tropical grasslands coming to these temperate grasslands the first example what we are going to do is the prairies the prairies are located in north america they are uh, like sea of grass if you look at the prairies they are completely covered with ice sorry completely covered with grass known as sea of grass if you look at the prairies from the top complete green cover if you look at a river or ocean or sea how the water body is completely filling that one in the similar way here the entire part of grasslands are filled with grass so we call it as sea of grass the prairies are on the west bounded by rocky mountains and on the east they are bounded by the great lakes of mississippi and all these great lakes in usa as well as in canada the it exists in both the states of usa and canada coming to the climate how is the climate of prairies the climate of prairies is continental it experiences extremely hot temperatures as well as cold temperatures the average temperature in summer is around 20 degrees celsius while in winter it has been recorded at canada is minus 20 degrees celsius in the winnipeg region coming to the rainfall the rainfall is not so high not so low it is an ideal rainfall there and the local winds prevail there the local wind chinook prevails here coming to the flora and fauna coming to the flora first as i mentioned earlier the grasslands are also the treeless lands so very few trees are grown here one is the willow tree alders tree and poplar tree and they receive they require rainfall of 50 centimeters or less than that is ideal for them the soil is really very fertile and the crops which are grown here are maize potato soya bean cotton alpha alpha these are the crops which are grown here and coming to the other things what is the commercial activities that are done by them they maintain large cattle farms known as ranches these are taken care by sturdy men known as cowboys which we have might have observed in the english movies then we have bisons which are now becoming rare because everybody is hunting them and poaching them so now they are becoming protected species other than this we also have the animals like rabbits coyotes gophers and the prairie dog coming to the people the people in the prairies are really very hard working we have two well developed countries here the united states of america and the canada which are scientifically well advanced so they start use scientific methods of cultivation harvesting cultivators then we have the tractors for doing cultivation which resulted in the huge production output in the agriculture that's why they are known as the granaries of the world prairies are also known as the granaries of the world and the dairy farming activity is also another important activity which is done here and which is bestowed with the minerals like coal and iron where lot of industries are established and we also have the commercial activities then well connected with the transport system this is about a brief discussion about the prairies in the north america prairies in the north america repeat now we are going to look at the other case study of the grasslands where the entire world is covered with one fourth of the grasslands so second case study we are going to do about the wells where are these wells wells are the temperate grasslands of south america the grasslands are known with different names in different regions they are known as prairies in north america wells in south america so let us now learn how is it in south america now in south america sorry it is repeat it is in south africa so in south africa these are located on the higher elevation plateaus they are around from 600 meters to 1100 meters above the sea level they keep on varying here and it is bounded by drakensberg mountains on the east while kalhari desert on the west coming to the climate 
the climate of wells is a mild climatic condition because of the influence of indian ocean over that and it has cold and dry winters as well the temperatures in johannesburg in summer is 20 degrees celsius and it receives rainfall only during summer and in winter it is completely dry they don't get much rainfalls at all so they receive rains also during summer only and coming to the flora and fauna of the wells the flora of wells is like grasses acacia and marula are the trees which are found here coming to the fauna animals we have lions leopards cheetah and kudu found here coming to the normal crops the staple crops that are grown here are maize wheat barley oats and potato while coming to the commercial crops which are grown here are tobacco sugarcane as well as cotton also coming to the other occupations which we have here is cattle rearing and mining while sheep rearing also is important activity here in the sheep especially it is an occupation sheep rearing and it is mainly grown for the collection of wool a special breed is grown here that is the merino breed and we also have the dairy activity done here so dairy farming where it is grown exclusively for the local needs of butter and cheese in this region apart from all these things in the wells we have the abundant availability of the minerals which are very costly and precious those are gold and diamonds so gold mines are found in johannesburg while the diamond mines are found in kimberley which are world famous even the britishers made south africa as a colony in order to do mining and later as these are the mining centers the good transportation facilities were provided even under the colonial rule and even later also so this is a brief description of the wells what we have for us so wells which are located in the temperate grasslands of south africa they are in the plateaus height from 6000 sorry 600 meters to 1100 meters and they are bounded by the drakensberg mountains on the east while kalahari desert on the west they have mild climatic conditions due to the influence of the indian ocean and they have the grasses grown here is acacia and marula animals which are found here are lion leopards cheetah and kudu while the staple crops grown here are maize wheat barley oats and potato the commercial crops grown here are tobacco sugarcane and cotton where cattle rearing and mining is other important activities which are done by them in cattle rearing the specially rare sheep that is a merino sheep breed which gives ex- extremely well and fine quality of wool and they also collect the milk and butter and cheese which is for the local needs coming to the mining the minerals are available in plenty here especially gold and diamond which are very rare and costly gold mining is famous because most number of gold mines are found in johannesburg and diamonds are mostly found in kimberley it also was converted as a colony of the britishers for this mining activity and it is well connected with a good transport system for all four different ways of transport communications so all these makes well accessible to the other parts of the world that's all we have in the case studies of life in the temperate grasslands of chapter 9 if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus